Welcome to my Yakuza Kiwami 100% Trophy Guide video. In this video we're going to talk about the Kidney Stones Trophy. And for this particular trophy you need to complete the sub-story A Doctor's Duty. And you basically start this sub-story in Chapter 6. Uh, there's going to be a little kid. Uh, you're going to have to buy him lunch. He's near um, the north area where the Coliseum is. It's just before you enter there via the toilets. You need to get him the bento lunch set pork, which you get from the M store, I'm pretty sure. No, you get it from Popo Nakamichi Alley. So get it from Popo Nakamichi Alley, the pork one in particular. And yeah, feed the kid. He will then uh, move across to the park, I think. And there we get the 50% completion as well, which is awesome. But yeah, he moves across to the park, and then basically you have to have Haruka with you. So if you got Haruka with you, you can continue on the story. But, yeah, so it starts in Chapter 6. Do these two parts, and then later on you can continue on. I think it's Chapter 7 you can continue on when Haruka joins the party. Um, but yeah, it's an absolute pain for some of these sub-stories. Getting him to trigger and that. But yeah, Haruka will come up and join him. He's about the same age or whatever. He needs a friend. Kid's pretty much, you know, defending for himself. Which is pretty awkward. But yeah, and then uh, I think... <laughs> what? He's hungry again. This kid never stops eating. Unbelievable scenes. Get him another one. Get him another pork bento set. I don't think it has to be a pork bento set, I'm not sure, but if you do need to, get two of those. That tasted really good, thank you. So he's basically trying to save this kid. I think his mum's working or whatnot. But he's all alone, fending for himself. Should be back in a few more hours. I can't remember what you actually have to do in this sub-story. Oh, that's it. He faints because he's got uh, appendicitis, I think. So you have to take him to the hospital. So the hospital is located from Tenkaichi Street. You go north and then a bit to the sort of west, I guess. Uh, I can't remember the name of the road. It's not the first road. It's not Sapon Street. It's the next one. Taihei... Boulevard West, I think. And you'll see a little, uh, there's like a doctor's symbol over the doorway. I th I'm pretty sure it's Taiho Boulevard West. Relatively sure. It's been a long time since I played this now. Months have flown by. It's just one of those days. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Taiho, yeah, next to Akashi Mario or whatever it is. So you need to get him there quickly. You'll see a little cartoony sketch of a, a doctor on the right hand side, if you can see that, in pink. I've just ran past it. But yeah, that one. And then enter there. And then you'll come into a little story with uh, three coloured gentlemen. Who, one of them's injured. And then the two brothers are wondering what's going on. And they think he's dying. When he's actually just got a kidney stone or something. <laughs> it's always something comical with Yakuza. So you have to fight those two brothers. And, uh, yeah. The the doctor saves him. From the appendicitis. And the other guy thinks he's uh, getting his brother killed or something. So they all fight and we have a good time. The doctor's racist. <laughs> he's not helping far enough. Yeah, I think it was the kid. The kid that was dying was probably the issue. So the guy on the bed faints. They think he's dead. Just absolute scenes going on. He does not look happy. You abandoned my brother. So you end up just kicking the shit out of these people. Um, if it's in chapter 7, we won't have the tiger drop yet. If you do this later on, you will have the tiger drop, which will be useful. 
He's trying to kill him. I mean, this is just an absolute overreaction. Ever I've seen one. So yeah, they're, they're quite strong these two actually, I think. But obviously there's a lot of uh, weapons you can use, a lot of things about that you can utilise. Unfortunately, the share doesn't work for some reason. Like it's just locked in. Like usually you can just bash through and be fine, but he's uh, he's pretty fast as far as enemies go. Make sure you got some heals ready. I don't know why I'm using like uh, beast mode. Really don't. It's just silly. Very very silly. Because the amount of damage you do in beast mode is just minimal. Oh, if you've learned the neck crack, that's pretty good. Neck snap, boom. I think that's on Kiwami. Uh, Yakuza Zero as well. You learn that from Bacchus. Hilarious. But yeah, it's so awkward when you got two and one. Like that, and you can't get a decent combo going. Once you manage to. Both boxes and that. Oh, I think I did have like some sort of. It's not the Kamaki Tiger Drop, it's some sort of electric Tiger Drop. But yeah. Once you beat these two, I think you. Uh, get the end of the sub story and uh, all works out for everyone so <laughs> the double headbutt to finish classic but yeah I'll call it there for this one thank you very much for watching take care peace out if you got any questions please let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe doctor just has a quick smoke as you do and uh, yeah peace out あれ進んでんだった。危なかったかな。お、お前、絶対に殺してやる。ずいぶん元気だな。兄弟揃って。お前、ずるいやつだ。弟、見殺しに。あんた。え? な、なんで こいつはただの石だよ。尿管結石だ。ケッサキ。ああ。激痛が走るが、石が膀胱に落ちちまえば何てことはねえ。気失って寝てただけだ。じゃ、世話になったな。ありがとうね。お医者さん。ふん、お医者さんか。久々に聞いた言葉だな。こいつはどのくらい入院するんだ。まあ、2、3日もじっとしてりゃ大丈夫だろう。子供は回復も早いしな。でも、お母さん待ってるんでしょまあ、俺が
その風間社長さんとやらによろしく伝えてくれはい。